edition of Garden and the Fens, Monday the 25th of February. Absolutely glorious today in the Fens here. Um, I'm just going to, what we've done this weekend, we've got the rows all reset for the potatoes. We've got six rows, okay. Three long ones, three short ones. Okay, we've got the plot ready for sweet corn as well, we've rotated that. So that's done, that's over near the poly tunnel. So how we've done it this year, we've got three long rows of potatoes and we've got a bed of red beet, carrots and parsnips and we've got three short rows of potatoes and then we've got one bed of sweet corn um, What I'm going to do I'm going to sow a lot of, one lot of red beet in the ground and then I'm going to sow the other lot in plugs and then they're going to come up here near the sunflowers here on this little plot near the laurel hedges Okay. Um, so what I'll do in a minute, I'll take you and show you around what we've been doing. Um, but we've absolute, that's been an absolute glorious weekend to get on. Um, you know, and get on, get everything done. Or what I needed to get done. Um, the garden that was dug late, I've renovated that twice and the soil's in a perfect condition underneath. Um, so I've ridged them out and then I'll plant them Friday to let, to let some air get in. Um, The bit where the carrots, parsnips, and red beet um, have gone, I've wrote about that twice. The soil's absolutely that's, that's lovely, that's nice and light. Um, so uh, next year I might not have any potatoes, I might just keep it for crops like that. Um, so we got the fertilizer yesterday, we got um, Westland Molly Puppets um, fertilizer. We got blood fish and bone, Westland Motley Purpose blood fish and bone, and we got Westland bone meal, which aids root growth, etc. etc. I'll do a little video of that a bit later and I'll show you what we got. And um, we've also got some Miracle Grow granules, a little jar or pot like that. Um, and plus, we've also got the compost just down here if you can see compost down here for the tubs um, we're just doing the big ones for now so there's about six bags here so they're 35 litre Westland multi-purpose Westland John in number two pot and comp pot and on compost I know that's not multi um purpose but that should do the trick um, <coughs> um so what I'll do, I'll take you um, in a minute. I'll take you in the plant and show you what we've done. Um, the onion seed is now cracking open, as in it's getting ready to shoot, as in come up or break out the little cell because that's all dressed, you see. And when inside the dress, and when the plant or the seedling is about to, it's making its movements, the seed casing cracks open. Um, Problem is when that starts and you try to move it, the whole thing just falls apart. So you might have three sections that fall apart because the seed is cracking, the seed casing is cracking. Um, so that's all now. What I can see is um, cracking. Well, it's only been about a week. So um, so what we'll do? I'll take you over to. The, and take you around. Old chap, he's got his carrots in. Just over there. He's got his carrots in there. He's got his rose rose out for his potatoes. So um he's got I don't know, got he's got some Morris Bard. Um the other half he's got um Sharps Express about ten seed. So we're gonna stick them in the big bags, in the big tubs. But I've got to mix the compost with some normal soil because if not that will dry it out. So you want some, some soil in there that will hold the moisture. Okay. Um, so on that note folks, I will take you around and show you around quickly. Back in a moment. Right folks, as you can see, this is, these are the rows of the potatoes. Nice and straight. Okay. Um, we've managed to get some soil in here. Fill this furrow up. We've just got a bit more up there to stick in. Um, but we've done, these are all ridged out for the main crop, 
So, um, whatever gets left over, I'll probably shan't. I'll stick some of them in the tubs over there, probably one seed of each. Um, so, I mean, these will dry out now and they'll be left like this for the rest of the week. So, we've got, um, yeah, as you can see, the soil is nice and light here. Look, that's perfect. Lovely. Um, so, that's the roots from that angle, that way. So and over here we've got the carrot, beetroot and parsnip bed. I'm only going to show two rows of parsnips. Um, so that'll be for the big hoe system. Okay, I'll show you down here quickly. We've got, but I ain't going to do the parsnips just yet. So we've got beetroot F1 Batolo dressed. Carrot F1 Mercurio pelleted, 1000 seeds dressed. Parsnip Victor pelleted. Force ST treated. Now I don't know what that means. Back in the folks. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, these are the rows down here. And you can see, if you can look in there. Little seed. Okay, these are all. This is all marked out. Been marked out with the um, tractor pin system. The two pins that I was on about. So that's all been marked out with that. Um, now this is they've been done for the small hoe system. Um, so and then the, the carrots will be you. We'll use the big hoe system or just a normal hand hoe. Um, so. Yeah, these are the beds. I mean, the saw I saw is lovely and uh, nice and light. I'll go up here and show you. So we've come up to about here. So we're in, not too far through. So we're just in line with the edge of the poly tunnel where that stick is. So uh, I mean, that's, that's that's a when you look, that's a fair length up there. And that's I think getting off a of thirty foot up there. So that's a fair I went through there. Okay. So this is the parsnip bit in here. So I've got to mark them out, but I shan't done what I really plant them till them Friday. Well, I can help it till the first. Um, because I'm not too sure if the F1 parsnip Victor are pellet. Um, I know they're pellet, but I'm not too sure if they're kangaroo resistant. And kangaroo resistant varieties, if they're, if they're kangaroo resistant, you don't get, you don't get it. Um, I mean, I know I had one case where I planted some ones that weren't and got canker one year. Um, I think they got this um, snake head of millipede that they had to centre out of the parsnip because they got this canker. So, um, anyhow, this is the sweet corn bed. I shan't be sowing that yet, obviously. Um, but this is the sweet corn. So, um, yeah. So that's all right where you to go. Um, we've got nice wide paths this year, so we can get up here with the rotavator. Um, so uh got two, sh these are the short rows. I don't know what's happened there, whether the line went straight and I marked it out with the ridger. Um, but, no, so these are the rows, the short ones. So I've got the Carolus, the Mira, and the... Um, Yukon Gold in here, and then we'll put the um, Performer and uh, Innovator over here. Okay, um, so I, so these are the tractor pins down here, the two that I used yesterday. Um, that sort of row spacing. Okay, so uh, we we'll use them, and then after a rotate, I just drag the harrow through just to level up a bit. Um, when it comes to rotavator in the autumn, I'll leave the guards off the rotavator to so that flicks the soil up more to level up. Um, so we've got when you look round, we've got a nice part really right round the whole plot on this side to get round with the rotavator and keep it tidy. Um, 
So I can go down here, down there, on red. I know I can't go up between the parsnip, carrot, and red beet beds. Um, but I can get around most of everything else on here. I've um, got some more digging to do, obviously. A bit of rubbish stuff, so I've got to clear, clear all this. So, um... So, we've got the polytunnel. I need a... What the hell? Alright. Oh, we've had rabbits in here. Ah. Look at that. Yeah, so these are the Sharps Express. So we've got these to do today. Tailors. Okay. So um, over here we've got the onion beds. Must start keeping that door shut night times. So um, we've got the onion beds. Um, and so hopefully they should be uh, coming up pretty soon. I think in the next two or three weeks there'll be some little uh, things coming through. Um, I'll go through here. Got a nice little patch here. So, uh, Chaps rose for his um, taters. So, um, yeah, there's that. And then, Coming up just a treat this year. Oh, uh, I'll have some pictures of them a bit later on. But they're holding the strength and they're not doing too bad. So, uh, so um, thank you all very much, folks. I hope you enjoyed the plot tour. Oh, I know it's a bit early for everything that I've done so far, but you know, you got to, when the gun is fired, you've got to be the first one off the starting line. And uh, I know it's a little bit early, but I'll plant the taters on the 1st of March. So, um, I mean, that's. I don't think that'll be a too bad a year this year. I think that'll be. I don't think there'll be much. What should we say in the way of losses? I'm hoping I don't think there will be. Um, if there is, there is. But that's just one of them things. Um, so, you know, I mean, we're going to have a better sunflower down here. Um, and then the red beet bug's going to come up here. I'm going to go probably a couple of row lettuces. Um, but other than that, you know, everything is, it's nice to see the tomatoes 